Hello, dear viewers. Welcome to Geonos Daily Series, where we do something cool in geometry notes in 10 minutes or less. And today we are going to turn a line into this awesome uh, ribbon that you see here. <coughs> it's a great animation, very little math involved, and uh, you can use this effect, uh, these techniques, to create a lot more effect than th just this one. So, uh, without uh, further ado, we will start as soon as this um, uh, intro will finish, meaning now. So what do you need? Uh, like I said, we are going to use a line. So let's uh, start uh, with the line. Let's connect it to the output and uh, we have this. We see a simple line. In order to do anything with it, we will have to add some more geometry to it. So let's do the sample curve. Let's switch this one to length because I kind of want to uh, have um, an even distribution and uh, to resample it as it uh, grows longer. And what we want is to do something with the position of the points. So let's add the set position. And um, let me close this one, we don't need it. What do we want to do? We want to turn it into that ribbon. So for that, we are going to use a vector vector rotate node and plug it directly into the position and everything disappears but no worries because we are going to uh, bring it back first we are going to uh, feed it the position again into this vector make sure not to confuse the inputs uh, or things will start to happen in another way and uh, then we want to um, add an input value node and this one will control the angle so let's plug the this one here and let's play with the angle nothing happens uh, okay because we want to do a few changes we want to move this on the x-axis for example and we want to change the pivot not zero but here so now we start to see something happening but not exactly what we wanted because we are basically moving all the points together and this is not what we want we want to uh, move them individually and uh, how are we going to do this well uh, we want to influence the points more as they go, go to the top and we have zero to one here for the position so we can use that so let's um, do a attribute transfer attribute and uh, yeah we don't want to plug it in the noodle we want to plug it like this come on okay good and we want to switch this one to vector and uh, index will be good and let's capture the position and now that we have this position we can use it here so uh, let's uh, separate this vector because we only care about uh, the z value this one is from 0 and 1 to 1 if we uh, look at this uh, control points we care about the position on z axis this one here so we want to do something with this position and uh, what we want to do well let's use a map range and we are going to remap it so we are going to take this value and this value is from 0 and 1 we and we want to change it to uh, something else we want to change it to an angle so let's say 90 degrees and now we get this So let's control this effect by adding another map range and uh, this will be the master control. We are going to do another transform that way and we are going to plug this one into the maximum and we'll have 0 to 1 and 0 to 90. That's good. And now we can control this like this. But we want this not to stay like this. We want to have a little of, of, of offset. Um, if we do a vector combine x y z and we take this z value and we plug it into the x here 
we want to offset it on the x as it goes on the z. So something like this. And now we get this curly that you saw earlier. Without it, we get intersection, but with this, we get the curly. Okay, now it's time to build a profile for this uh, thing. So let's do a curve, curve to mesh and plug it here and let's add a profile curve primitive and I'm gonna use this quadrilateral because I want to make um, this uh, profile something like this and uh, let's do a little bit of uh, modeling on this one We are going to make it like a lot thinner. I think it's too much. Let's cut a zero. Okay, something like this. I want to fill the cups. Awesome. And uh, there is something else. Um, I want, I want, I want, as soon as I can find it. Cavity. Okay, now we can see it a little bit better and cut this outline. So now we basically have this line and uh, this value will control uh, how uh, far this one is going, something like this. And I'm gonna do something else here also to scale this one because uh, otherwise we'll get some intersections that we don't want. So I'll put um, this value here. And now we get the effect that you saw earlier. This, the one in the demo. And uh, let's put this one to zero. This is the start. And let's add a little bit of curling. And if I put like 0.1, something like this. If you have some intersection here, because uh, maybe you make this one to be thicker, you can add an offset here. So we'll do this math and we are going to add something. This value will control this offset. Awesome. And uh, one more thing that I wanted to do, if you saw in the, uh, spline we had uh, a bit of more definition onto this one and we had the shape of it and the definition we get by using a curve uh, resample curve let's plug it here and i'm gonna use for this one let's say 128 points now we get this and let's do the sculpting of this one and in order to see what we're going to do i'm going to connect this profile here and now we are going to do something with it so let me add a texture i'm gonna use a muscular te texture and uh, what i want to do with this muscular texture i want to take these values and uh, distort uh, distort the curve so let's do another set position control click drag this one here and connect this noodle here and we are going to plug this into the offset excellent and i want to um, have a controller for this one because if we play with this value we get something that is not controllable so let's add this here into the offset do a multiply and choose like a very small value and now we can play with this and get a little bit of bending because this is what i want so let's say something like 28 i'm gonna add a little bit more detail to this one and uh, i'm gonna switch this one to something else hybrid and i'm gonna increase the dimension something like this and I'm gonna put the lacunarity on one. This is a very sensitive value. If you get nothing at some point, make sure to check this value if it's okay or not. So I'm gonna do something like, maybe like this. 
something like this. And now if we plug again this one here, you see the profile that we generated is this one here. And you can play with these values to get something else that it's uh, more uh, to your liking. So let's say I'm gonna make this one thicker, something like this. And uh, now we can see the profile better. So um, let me make it a little bit thicker, something like this. And uh, I'm gonna switch this one to 2D, the noise. And you get this profile. And you can play with this as much as you want. So let's do a uh, mesh, set shade smooth and plug it here. And that's what we get here. And basically this is it. This is the effect for today. So let's play with this value. You can animate now this value and uh, have fun with it. It's a very cool and useful effect that uh, can be used to do many, many stuff. So here you go. If you didn't know it, that you can do this with the line and just a little bit of math, it's everything is based on the circle basically, uh, the circle formula, then here you go. You Now you know. So you can do cool stuff uh, with this and uh, thank you very much for watching. Happy blending and hope to see you in the next tutorial.